everybody. Thanks for joining me here today. This is Nicole with Topaz, and today we are here for a Quick Tip Thursday session. Today's Quick Tip is going to be about finding the perfect tone for your image using Topaz Restyle. With over 1,000 toning presets in Restyle, the endless possibilities can be a bit overwhelming at times, and that's um, an understatement. <laughs> so we're going to walk through how to use the advanced searching capabilities in Restyle to really zero in on the perfect tone for your images. I'm going to show you two examples here today. Uh, in the first image, we're just going to really look at the tools um, that are in Restyle and show you how to use them to your advantage. And then we'll take an image in and actually go through a quick workflow on how I would apply a tone. So this first image that I'm going to be using is of a winery in Spain. And Prior to this session, I'd edited this image and I, I liked it, but I didn't like the over, overall warmth of the image. Um, it just felt very, well, I just wanted to take it a different direction. And Topaz Restyle is a great program for um, just kind of inspiring you and leading you in a way that you might not have thought of before going into Restyle. So let's go into Restyle and take a look at some of the searching tools that we have in there for you. I'm going to go ahead and just make a quick copy by pressing Control J. And now I have this new layer to work with and I'm going to go to Topaz Restyle. All right, it's going to apply the first, the first thing it applies is the uh, most recent uh, preset that you've uh, recently worked with. So if you see something applied to your image right away, that's what's happening. Over here on the left hand side is the most obvious way that you can search for presets. And we have, uh, that way is collections. We've broken it down into several different collections based on image type. So that's just kind of a guide to help you. So with something like this, I might go to architecture or street collection collection and just click on that to open up the preset list below and then you can just scroll over and search for the preset that you like and if you see something you like you can click on it and apply it and work with the blend modes over here or the opacity to get it just perfect for your image. However, as you start to scroll down through these collections, you'll see that there are so many different presets. So within Restyle, we give you a wide array of searching capabilities. One of my favorite ways um, to go directly into Restyle, once I open up a collection, I usually hop right on into my grid mode because my grid mode is going to allow me to check out all the presets, all the preset previews in a in a better way and um, you get to see more and you can scroll through more quickly. The way that you get into your grid mode is by clicking on this little tic-tac-toe looking icon to the right of the word presets and it'll pull up the grid that of the collection that you had highlighted. And then once you have that, you can go through and just select some of the presets that are starting to inspire you. The way that you do that is coming to the bottom left corner and clicking on the little camera. You can consider those to be snapshots of your um, image. And if you just scroll through and keep clicking on the on the snapshot icon, you can start to narrow down and zero in on a good preset for your image. So I like to just come through and I'll usually scroll through the whole collection and keep clicking on the ones that inspire me until I get to the bottom. And then I'll go ahead and look at the uh, presets that I've chosen. And the way that you can narrow down to just the presets that you've selected during the session is to come up to this folder. Um, at the top menu bar here, we have three different folders and the one to the left is going to have a little snapshot camera on it. You click on that and it's going to pull up all of the presets that you've selected during this session so far. So the ones that you've uh, clicked the camera on. Now you can kind of narrow it down from this stage by unclicking the ones that you say, you know what, this doesn't look very good and I actually like some others better. I don't particularly care for this one. And you can just kind of get rid of the ones that you don't want to see anymore. And then you can come up, back up to the folder, click on the camera icon again, and it'll show you just the remaining ones. And then you can from this point, find similar presets, because sometimes you get to this stage and you say, you know what, I really like the cerulean white over here on the right-hand side. 
but it's not perfect. And I want to see if maybe within all the other collections within the program, um, if there's a similar preset. The way that you can do that is to come to this little magnifier icon, click on that. It's going to be in the lower left of the preset as well. And click on that and it's going to pull up similar presets. Now the way that it looks for similar presets is by looking at the first two dominant colors of the preset you selected to look at. So that's the cerulean white in this top left corner. And the two left hand colors are the most dominant colors. And then you'll see very similar colors in the top, the two dominant colors within the rest of the presets. <clears throat> Sometimes though, if it doesn't have those two dominant colors, it will just try to match it as best as it can. But one way to really find, um, you know, a certain color is to actually go further than the find similar presets. As you scroll to the right from the uh, magnifier glass, you can scroll into the color into the color theme here. And what it will do is pop up these little pop-up previews. And within them it says, uh, find more presets with this particular color. So I can come in and any of these five colors, in any color I see, I can just click on the specific color itself. So if I was really looking for more of the cerulean blue, I could click on that. And then it's going to give me presets that have that cerulean blue as the most dominant color within the preset. So that's, that's another way to narrow it down just by the color itself. Now, if you come into the, um, let's say you come in and you say, I really like this kind of mint, pine green and mint cream. I'm going to favorite that one. Um, but I want to see if there are some other mint colors, but you don't know which color specifically is mint and you don't want to look for similar presets. You want to kind of look for something that contains the word mint. You can come up to the keywords and actually type in keywords to narrow your search as well. So as you type in, and a tip here is to type slowly, and if it's not pulling up the right colors, um, if you don't see like mint pulling up, do a little backspace and type maybe the last letter again, uh, sometimes because it has to search through so many different presets. Um, if you do that, it helps it narrow it down a little bit more, but it did good pulling up all the mint ones. Now I can come in and say, you know what? I like this mint green gauze, I like this mint cream, that's nice. And now I can look at my favorite folders again or look at my snapshot folder and it has all of these in there. So from this point, what I usually like to do is just apply my favorite. So here I'm gonna apply the mint cream, which I really like here. And I think that if I use my opacity at a certain level, I can really get kind of a bleached out cool effect that I wanted for this image. I can also come into my blend modes just to check out how they work. And really liking the way it's applying as a screen blend. So I'm going to stay here. And now that is how I would search within Resale. Those are some of the many searching tools that we have. A very common question that I get from people using Restyle, once they've applied a preset, so we just applied this mint cream preset, but we looked at so many other presets, so your mind might not remember the word mint cream. So how are you to know what you just applied? Come over here to the left, the presets, uh, to the right of the presets, we have these folders within this panel as well. And one of these folders is going to have a little check mark on it. You click on that and it's going to tell you which presets you've applied during the session that you've had this image open. So remember we applied this Tiffany blue preset at the beginning of searching and now we've applied this mint cream. So now you can come back in and say, okay, great. I know it's the mint cream preset. I did it as a screen blend at about 68%. I'm going to press okay. And now I have that information that I can put in my layer or into the image info and apply it. So that's usually what, how I use it. And I, I tend to always check out what preset I use because after you've used it several times, the same preset, you can then favorite it by clicking on the little stars within those uh, presets as well. Once they turn blue, it's going to be contained in a favorites folder that you can always refer back to. So here I would say restyle mint cream screen blend or something like this, just a, something to refer back to. So another way that I like to use yeah, we can use this. Another way that I like to use Restyle is more for inspiration because there are so many different ways to tone an image. Restyle is 
excellent for kind of giving you a huge variety of effects that you can take a look at very quickly and kind of just go in the direction that you get inspired by. And that's really how I like to use Restyle when it comes to toning and why I use it so often, because sometimes I don't know where to go. So let me just show you this beginning image. Um, here we go. So this is after camera raw, and then I took the image, took some of the spots and scratches off his face, worked with the clarity um, just by minimizing the micro contrast to smooth out his skin, uh, took out some of the catch lights in his eyes that I didn't want. And then this is where I would take it into restyle and tone. So I'm just gonna make a quick copy, control J, and name this restyle and go into Topaz Restyle to kind of get inspired on where I want to go with this image. Because that's, for me, that's really the difficult part. Sometimes you just don't know where you want to go and how to work with an image. So again, the way that I would do this, and this is going to be a very quick workflow just to show you how I work with it by using the search tools, I would say maybe something like fashion collection or a portrait collection, and then go directly into the collections. And then going through and just saying, you know, okay, I like this one. I like this salmon pink veil. That's nice. I like this burnished fawn. Okay, I want to take a look at all my favorited presets. Here we go. All right, so I like this burnished fawn the most, but I don't particularly love it. So I want to find similar presets. I'm going to click on the little um, magnifier icons and pull up similar presets and come through here and say, hmm, I'm kind of liking this cream and redwood, maybe this desert sand dusting, or I want to take a look at this certain color and come through here again and find something that works. Oh, I really like this faded tangerine. I think I'm going to apply that. That's really nice. I like the purpley, uh, dark tangerine-y um, shadows with the kind of brighter cream highlights for his skin. That's really nice. Just going to come over to my opacity, and actually I'll go to my blend layers first. I usually tend to do that just to see if there's another blend that works better. And for this image, I'd probably go to the screen blend again and just take my opacity down to a level that works before and after. Let me show you that one more time, before and after. And that's how quickly I use Restyle, by using those search tools just to quickly narrow down the perfect effect for your image. All right, thanks everybody. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.